Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and the more I read books, the more I realize if these book characters were real, there are two different types of book characters I would end up encountering. One, book characters I would want to be friends with, and number two, book characters I want to punch in the face. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about book characters I want to be friends with. Now, I have a list right next to me, and it's not a whole lot of book characters that I've written because there's like a select amount of books that I really like and certain characters I had to go through that I really want to be friends with. And um, I'm excluding, you know, characters that are in high school because it would be, to me, I think it would be weird to be friends with someone who's like, what, 18 and lower and I would and I'm like 20 I know 18 and 20 they're like two years apart but the kid the kids would still be in high school and they're still technically kids kind of so I'm excluding people um, book characters that are in high school so without further ado let's get on to the list number one Bree Prescott from Archer's Voice I mean, you knew this was coming. I was going to mention Archer's voice a lot in these videos when it comes to book topics. And Brie Prescott, she's actually a reader. And I'm surprised because I actually read this book twice during this week. I read this book a second time and it's just as good as the first time I read it. And I've forgotten that Brie is a reader. I, I completely forgot about that. Like... It never said in the book what her favorite book genre is, but it would be really nice to know and be friends with her and like ask her, hey, what's your favorite book genre? And also she has a dog, a white fluffy small dog named Phoebe. And that, and I, that sounds cute. Like like the way the book describes Phoebe is, Phoebe is like a white ball of fluff. I'm assuming that the dog that is described is like maybe a Maltese. Or, I don't know, maybe a chihuahua or something. I don't know what kind of breed it is. But all the book says about Phoebe is that she's a small white ball of fluff. That sounds really cute. And it also says that Brie got um, a bike from her neighbor and puts Phoebe in the little basket. Oh, that is so cute. You know those little bikes with those baskets in the middle that they had back in the day that's so that's so cute you could put your little dog in there that is so adorable it would be cute if Bree ever goes out on a date with Archer again that she would need someone to watch over her dog Phoebe and if I was friends with her I'd be like yeah sure I'll watch over your dog I love dogs and, and cats too. Thank God I'm not allergic to either of them. I would also love to be friends with Archer too, but I don't know sign language. So it would be nice to know if I was friends with Bree first and she would be teaching me some sign language so I can communicate to Archer more. Because Archer, he can hear, but he can't speak because he's mute. So I just put Bree Prescott on the list because I guess it's easier for me. I mean, I would be friends with Archer too, but I don't know sign language. So I would be friends with Bree first, then Archer. Okay, next one. Number two, Kaya from Where the Crawdads Sing. Now, I'm not trying to be friends just to pity her because she, in this book, she's like alone and she doesn't have a whole lot of friends. The only friend she ever had was Tate. And I honestly... I feel like I want to be friends with her, not because it's out of pity, but I want to get to know her more. She sounds like a really sweet girl who really loves the outdoors. I'm not a huge fan of the outdoors, but I'm expanding my comfort zone and going outside and exercising some, so it would be really cool to get to know Kaya and she could give me a little tour around the marsh and all of those animals that she really cares about. Kaya is just sweet kind caring she's shy from the very start she wouldn't she's scared to talk to other people which i don't blame her she she's only known the marsh and she barely goes outside the city for for a few reasons so she's only out in the marsh by herself because that's the only place she's ever known and trusted so i don't blame her for wanting to stay in her own little comfort zone and if i was friends with her i would give her some compassion and some 
you know, kind, caring advice, and, you know, it'd be nice to be friends with a girl like Kaya. She's really sweet. So, anyway, next one. Number three, Rosie Taft from Read Between the Lines. Now, Rosie is not just a reader. She actually owns a library, you know, from her mom. She inherited it from her mom after, after her mom passed away. And she's been, you know, part of that library just to honor her mother's memory. And her favorite um, book genre is romance. Like me, I love romance books. If I ever go into her bookstore, I would like... I would like be in heaven at this point. Books are amazing, but not as much as romance books because they're my absolute heaven. And it just depends on the romance book. And if it's good, then I'll rank it a really good, a really good score. And not just that, Rosie has a book club. I've never been a part of a book club or any club at all, or even like in school. But going to Rosie's book club and you know, having some little snacks. She also gives out tea, but I don't like tea. So being friends with Rosie, getting to know her favorite book genres and all of that, it would be really cool to go to her dorm apartment and see her roommates. Cause most of her roommates are, are lesbian and bisexual. Ain't that cool? <laughs> Cause Rosie herself is a lesbian. And I would, I would be like, so how are you and Jane doing? Have you been going on two nice dates or several dates or have you been kissing a lot lately? I don't know. I'd be really adore. It would be really cute to see Rosie and her girlfriend Jane just loving on each other. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's adorable to me. And being friends with Rosie, it'd be amazing because she, she is really passionate about her, her library and her, and her love of books. I don't blame her. I love books too. So Anyway, on to the final character. And lastly, the book character I would want to be friends with is Haven Torres from Travis. Now, I've read this book and realized that Haven really loves plants and gardening. And I've actually had a store, I've actually had a senior class, a senior, um, a class in my senior year where I took greenhouse, which is, you know, taking care of plants and knowing what to do with the, some of the plants don't need, there's some plants that need sun. There's some plants that don't need a whole lot of sun. So it'd be nice to get to know Haven and all of the kind of plants that she uses. I would like, I was curious to know what her favorite flower is because my favorite flower is roses. I love roses. Minus the whole thorns, because I wouldn't want to prick myself. But I do love roses. And Haven, I, I, I kind of, I don't know if the, it's, if the, if the book said um, what her favorite flower is or what her favorite plant is. But I'd be curious to know if I was friends with Haven and how she takes care of her plants, what her favorite flower is. And give me some tips if I ever want to take any plants at home. I mean, I'm not a huge plant person. Like, even though I took a greenhouse class in my senior year of high school, I mean, plants are not bad. It's just, I'd be, I don't know. I mean, I'd be kind of lazy to take care of them. So plants would usually die if I'm around them. And I know Haven wouldn't like it when her plants die. She would think, she thinks of her plants as her little children. And reading about why she thinks about her plants as children, I don't blame her for thinking that. She even walks by, before she goes to bed, she walks by to her nearby plants and tells them good night. Like they're sentient beings. And isn't that cute? I kind of find that really cute. So being friends with Haven wouldn't be so bad. And being friends with those other book characters would be really nice too. If they were real, but they're fictional. So it wouldn't happen. I don't have a whole lot of friends anyway. But if I did, and if these book characters were real, I'd consider having these people in my friends. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.